Over time, the UV lamp in your 2B Tech Ozo monitor may either burn out or become noisy. Here, we will learn how to run the lamp test to check the lamp intensity and noise level, and how to install a new lamp if necessary. To run the lamp test, hold in the select switch until the menu appears. In the main menu, we first select the lamp submenu. We can run the lamp test with or without the air pump running. To test only the effect of the lamp on the instrument noise, we will run the test with the pump off. Notice that the top line of the display provides the PDV or photodiode voltage. This is a measure of the light intensity striking the photodiode. The photodiode voltage should be in the range 0.7 to 2.5 volts. The exact value is unimportant as long as it is in this range. If the lamp is burned out, the photodiode voltage will be zero. If the photodiode voltage is above 2.5 volts, the ozone monitor will output zero for the ozone concentration. The bottom line in the display provides the electronic offset plus or minus the standard deviation or precision of that offset. After a few measurements, the offset should be in the range negative 9 to plus 9 ppb. As you can see, the electronic offset for this ozone monitor is well within acceptable range. The noise or precision of the lamp follows the plus slash minus symbols. After a few minutes of warm up, the lamp precision should be less than 2.5. A higher value implies a noisy lamp. In other words, the intensity of the lamp is fluctuating too much to make fast measurements with high precision. In this case, the lamp standard deviation meets specification. Let's now see how to change a lamp in the case that the lamp is burned out or is too noisy. First, we should turn off the power to prevent damage to the circuit board. And we will unplug the power cable as a precaution. The lamp is mounted in the bottom compartment of the OZO monitor, but it connects to the circuit board in the top compartment. So, we will need to remove both top and bottom covers. To change the lamp, we will first unplug it from the circuit board. Note that the lamp has purple and white wires. On the top side of the OZO monitor, we see the purple and white wires plugged into connector J3. To begin, we will unplug the lamp from the circuit board. Next, we need to remove the wires from the connector. This can be done with an X-Acto knife, razor blade, or other sharp object by pushing in the spring clip while withdrawing the wire. Now, we can slide the wires through the grommet that pass the wires to the other side of the base plate. To remove the lamp, we first remove the four hex bolts that attach the optical bench to the base plate using the hex wrench provided with the OZO monitor. Now, using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four bolts that hold the back plates of the lamp housing. Now, remove the two bolts that hold the lamp housing to the optical bench. Next, carefully separate the lamp assembly from the optical bench. We just reverse the process to install the new lamp. First, we attach the new lamp housing to the optical bench using two shorter bolts. Make sure the detection cell assembly is flush with the lamp housing before tightening the bolts. Otherwise, it is easy to snap off a cell window. We then attach the optical bench to the base plate using the four longer bolts. Your new lamp will come with a connector which must be removed. Now we can pass the wires through the grommet. Be sure to connect the wires into the correct positions of the connector. The locking end of the connector faces the front of the OZO monitor. The purple wire inserts into the slot nearest the edge of the circuit board. When inserted correctly, the wire will lock into place and will not pull out. Now insert the white wire into the remaining slot. Gently tug on the wires to make sure they are both locked in place. If they slide out, they probably were inserted upside down. Now plug the lamp into connector J3. Notice that the white wire, which is the ground wire, is furthest from the edge of the circuit board. We may now replace the top and bottom covers. After completing the lamp installation, you should run the lamp test to make sure that the lamp voltage falls in the range 0.7 2.5 volts and the lamp precision is better than 2.5 ppb. After changing the lamp, you should also re-zero the ozone monitor using the external ozone scrubber as described in another video. If you have an ozone calibrator such as the Model 306 ozone calibration source, 
It is also a good idea to recalibrate the instrument span, although the span should not be significantly affected by the lamp change.